Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trav 3387 here again. So we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the fuel cut defender. So the, the 1K ZTE um, in both different variants. So your electronic throttle body and mechanical throttle body. So one will have an electronic throttle body with EGR, one's pre, so it's similar, but still essentially the same sort of thing. I'll show you as a photo of the electronic throttle body system so you can see where you've got to tap this follower into. So what I've got here is your fuel cut defender. We've had some interest in People want to know how to wind the boost up past the fuel cut, so 14.9 PSI. So pretty much this is your um, your boost pressure sensor. Now, obviously, because I've done a mechanical pump conversion, I don't have this on my engine anymore. So pretty much that's your boost pressure sensor. And over on this side of the engine over here, so if you come over here, where it's located. So this here is located on the manifold, so just here. All right, so pretty much just sits there bolts on and then you have a vacuum hose that goes from there to your manifold now when you tap that so you cut it and you use this here so one will go this way into that and the other one will go to the manifold so pretty much all you're doing is you're tricking the boost pressure sensor into thinking it's getting say 10 psi when it's not it's actually in fact like i did i wound up getting 18 psi out of my standard turbo worked pretty well um, but obviously, as you guys know, with this build, I wanted a lot more power. So that's pretty much how you wind boost up on a um, on a 1KZ to get past your dreaded fuel cut. So if anyone knows what fuel cut is, it's when it just shuts the fuel off and make no more power. So and then it'll go back into its mode again and go. So that's the fuel cut defender. Um, it's very simple to to hook up. There's nothing nothing really major at all. It's just find the vacuum hose. And it'll be also there's like a little filter there as well. So you'll see the hose comes off the, the boost pressure sensor and it comes off onto a filter and you just splice into that, hook this up. Now, roughly from memory, uh, to get 18 pound out of this setup, I had to wind this fully clamped to positive and back it off 13 turns. So 13 clicks with the boost wound up to 18 pound. So obviously with the SAS boost T, um, You'll have different boost tees will have different different amounts of clicks to set boost pressures. But to work your boost at 18 pound and this turbo smart uh, fuel cut defender is roughly 13 clicks from positive clamp. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will put up a photo of the electronic throttle body version and it'll be marked in the description of where it's located. I'm pretty sure the Prados with the top mount intercooler are very similar. So just work off that. So we've as I said, we've had interest on how to get around more like making more power and get around the fuel cut so that's pretty much it guys it's about 170 bucks for that um if you're only after sort of you know a budget you know or if you're on a budget and you haven't got too much money this is your answer so 170 bucks plus boost teats probably gonna cost you about 250 dollars to get 18 pound out of you um but anyway guys thanks for watching hope you've been liking the videos cheers happy days